Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. How you guys doing? Put your paws up top for me. It's good to see you. This is the Mystic Leo. My name is Anna Zofia. I'm a very proud Leo. Welcome to my Leo only channel. Um, we are taking a look at the week ahead. I know this is a little late. Please forgive me, guys. I've been, my belly's been hurting for a couple of days. So when I get like that, it's hard for me to read. Um, but I'm here. I'm here. I'm all better. Yay. Let's get this reading started. Okay. We're taking a look at money, love, career, all the general energy. Take what resonates. Leave the stuff that doesn't. You already know the drill. If nothing resonates on this video, I have hundreds of other videos that you can check out. Okay, guys, everything I do is timeless. If you want to do a private reading with me, you can find that link in my link tree down below through Cameo. And last but not least, guys, don't forget to give it a like. Come on back and sub. Okay? I mean, sub and come back. Okay? Sub and come back. Okay. You know, I'm going to get one extra of these. I just feel like I should get that one. Okay. So I already pre-shuffled a bunch of cards to cut down on some time because I like to use a lot of these oracles and stuff. But I think today I'm going to jump right into some tarot and then I'm going to read some oracle cards. Okay, that's kind of like the vibe I'm feeling right at this time. So let's jump right in and see what tarot is talking about today. Because they be getting crazy. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Uh, hopefully you guys are having a great week. It is election day. Get out there and vote, fam, if you still can. Okay, let's give me an overall energy, please. Okay, we have the nine of pentacles. So your financial situation might be pretty good right now. Um, you know, you might be feeling a little bit independent. You might be feeling like you could spend just a little bit here and there. Um, seeing a little bit of like fruit of your labor this week. Okay, so, you know, very self-sufficient. Maybe you're dressing up. You're doing some luxury type stuff for yourself. Getting some massages. Getting some nice clothing. Okay, a little jewelry something for you okay whether you're a male or a female let's look at the recent past alrighty recent past okay I think some of you like when we talk money I think some of you have realized that you have to slow down okay you've been strategizing and making better plans financially for yourself which is leading to you being able to actually do some things for yourself okay Leo so um I think here you may have spoken with somebody or talked to somebody or come up with some sort of plan that's been helping you, okay? You have the temperance card here, Sagittarius. And there's Petunia in her brand new pajamas. Say hi, Toonies. She's very upset right now. She does not want to be in her jammies. Anyway, um, now when we talk about the recent past here with money, I think that you've worked very hard in the past at like getting your life into harmony when it comes to money. So many of you may have been working on your thoughts and your speech around money. Uh, and I think it shows, okay, let's look at the current energy and I'm going to read this for love. Okay. Current energy, please. There we go. Queen of cups is out. Some of you, <clears throat> are staring down a relationship right now with the Emperor here and the Queen of Cups. Yes, and the Knight of Pentacles. I think there could be a conversation like at this time between you and somebody else about a long-term commitment here with the Knight of Pentacles. When we're talking about money, we're talking long-term investments, things like that, okay? Now, uh, we have the emperor, so you have Aries showing, showing up here really strong. This is such a nice, like, supportive, nurturing um, relationship here, okay? Uh, you know, the person you're dealing with is responsible. They might be looking for a long-term relationship just like you are. So I'm seeing some real positive energy this week, and I think you might be talking about that. I see you right now, Leo, like, making a lot of plans for your future, 
possibly with this person there's like a lot of communication or talk about like what y'all is going to do for the future okay so um i do see you working really hard saving money for the future as well so some of you could be doing something like IRAs or maybe you're even thinking about, you know, long-term like retirement at this time. Um, but I think that you're in some sort of love connection here that's making some kind of steady progress. And the reason past, I feel like many of you have been single. You've just been working on yourself, doing your thing, um, you know, kind of, like dealing with your perception, uh, because a, a lot of, a lot of times people have really strong beliefs around relationships and that doesn't help because if you believe there's nobody good out there, you're never going to run into any good people. Right? So I feel like you guys may have been, you've come to some realization that there may be something you need to heal around relationships. Uh, and or like how you think and feel about them. Okay, so the current energy is looking real good to me. What's coming in the near future with the relationship and with money, please? Show me the near future. Sachi's running around. This one's watching her. Ooh, I see the leap of faith. Okay, there's a proposal coming. There is a proposal coming. Uh, Okay, <laughs> it's coming. All right, so I'm all congested. Sorry, guys. We have Aquarius here with the Fool. Okay, uh, Page of Cups. This is great, and we've got the Two of Pentacles. So I feel like your like your personal finances. There's a lot to juggle. There's a lot to figure out here in the near future because you're you're being asked to your some of you are being proposed to okay i know this reading is is going to be real specific for only a few people here but if you are in something that is feeling like long term it's feeling like the right thing this person has literally talked about like i see us doing this longer like i want to see where this really goes and i mean that then this is going to turn into a proposal here, okay? So I think there's just going to be a lot on your plate. You may be the person planning, you know, the, um, like the, uh, the wedding, things like this. Okay, guys, we don't get really great readings like this very often, but this is really, really nice. And I feel like there's a lot of potential here. This person is really like giving, there's, I feel like, I feel like you're getting a new life from this. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you're getting new life here, okay? Um, the, <laughs> okay, look. The Two of Cups. Okay, now what's interesting is that, um, Sachi, what are you doing? What do you got? Oh, no, hold on a second. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. We're not doing that, okay? We're not doing that. Why did you go up there? No, go sit down. Okay. Yeah, the cats are destroying my things. So Sachi went up on the counter and she snatched something she shouldn't snatch. All right. Anyway, back to what I was saying here. Now the challenge here. Uh, the challenge is the two of cups, which is odd to me. Um, this is some type of soulmate relationship. I feel like what the challenge could be for you is compatibility, like for the long term. It could be that um, it feels a little more like a friendship than a deep love that you have. But I feel like here's the thing, you know, and this might just be for the ladies. Okay, guys. I don't know how y'all heard it when you were growing up, but what I always learned is that a woman wants to actually should find a man that loves her more than she loves him because at that point, he's always going to take care of you. He, he will adore you. He will tend to not stray away, um, you know, and, and have other people around. Okay. But I'm just saying, all right. So maybe this is a situation where this person feels more for you than you might feel for them. Okay, Leo, I'm just saying. So there's that. What don't you see about this connection? I think too, some of y'all are going to take a financial risk here in the near future as well. Okay, like further, further down in the future, 
Maybe for some of you, this is like literally the snapshot of your week. Like I said, we do this every single week. We check in with the week, but it doesn't mean that we don't get energy for the future. So what you don't see um, is that you will go through uh, challenges here, some of you financial, but what it's doing is helping you to be able to ask for help. Okay. Now I feel like this is part of maybe the thing in the relationship too, is that maybe some of you have been so independent for such a long time that it's kind of hard for you to release the need to control things, um, within the relationship. Okay. And allow somebody in so that they can do things for you. Cause some of you are raised like, Hey, you know, do it yourself because nobody's going to do it for you. Okay. So that may be one of the challenges. It could be letting the love in, right? Like really getting that this is the right thing. This is a beautiful connection for you and not sabotaging it <laughs> with going crazy in your mind over stuff. Okay. Let's look at the potential outcome. Now, I do feel like some of you are having an important conversation with somebody this week. Um, it could be a friend or it could be somebody you're in a romantic partnership with. Um, okay. Uh, it could be somebody that you're in a romantic partnership with, and it could be around money and around responsibilities, like who's doing what around here. You may have just recently moved in with somebody or you live with somebody and they may have like, you know, been kind of stomping their feet around a little bit with that emperor card. Like, well, I'm the boss here. You're the woman. This is your job or the other way around. Like I, I do everything, you know, and like you don't ever do anything. And so like creating balance in the connection. Okay. Um, now when we look at what the potential outcome is, the Empress and the seven of cups. So there, a lot of things can happen here. It really has a lot to do with what you want to nurture in the connection going forward, because anything can happen here. Okay. Now, when it comes to your financial situation and abundance, you have that here with the Empress card. You have um, Libra and Taurus, okay, for those who need to know. Um, you have it here and you have a lot of different options when it comes to your creativity, growing your financial situation, growing your money, things like this, okay? Now also, definitely a pregnancy card because I gotta say it, um, but... I think that, you know, in the near future, there's a lot of, a lot of like, um, you know, can realistically, I think you're thinking about, can I see myself having children with this person? Can I, you know, I want to get out of the illusion and kind of come down to earth a little bit more. Is this the right thing for me? Um, you know, am I, am I making the right choice by marrying this person and saying yes? Okay. So I think there's just a little bit of like you, you know, and, and it's fair because Jesus, you know, you love somebody, but then the reality starts to hit you and you go, is this what I want to do for life? So I feel like you're doing a little bit of that here. Okay. Now there it is. Hold on. I was like, what did I do with my cards? I couldn't find my my cards to clarify. Let me clarify a little bit here. Yes, Lord. Ugh. All right. Yep. I'm I'm two for two on the terrible shuffling today. It's because my hand isn't quite healed, so it hurts really bad when I try to shuffle. Okay. Okay, yes. So, Queen of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. Some of you are feeling really satisfied at this time. I feel like whatever connection you're in, you still have retained some of your independence because that's just important to a Leo. Okay. We need to be independent. All right. Show me this recent past. Come here, Tunis. You want to sit in my ma mama's lap? It's like Cat City over in this place. Cat City up in this bitch. 
right. Yeah, definitely some of you are on a healing journey here. Uh, something was definitely out of balance with the justice in reverse Libra again. Um, and it was your boundaries for many of you, okay? You, you know, some of you weren't putting up a fight for yourself the way you should have at times. And I think that you realize that. So honestly, with this Ace of Cups and the Ace of Swords, it's like you realize you need really need to be pouring into your own cup. You really need to work you really needed to work on something you needed something to to heal in your life okay um and i think there was a lot of things that seemed to be happening that weren't fair many of you might have felt like a victim many times and as you do that healing journey you start to realize i'm not a victim these have to do with the things that i've chosen i have you know been stubborn with that um seven of wands you've been stubborn you've been standing on you know your own business like I'm not the problem here and sometimes we're the problem and we just need to admit that okay talk to me about the current energy clarify the queen of cups I hate when that happens okay Okay, so mm, for some of y'all, y'all have been getting away from a connection and this is why you're happy, okay? Some of y'all have gotten away from a long-term connection that you are not happy in. Now, what I want to say here in the current energy, yes, we have planning for the long term. Um, some of you are very curious about how you're going to go about doing this. And it, there's a lot of wonder, like, is this person going to do me dirty? Are they currently doing me dirty? Is there something that I need to know? So you're looking to, like, find whatever you can find about this person to see if this is worth you going any further whatsoever, okay? Because you're looking for a person who's got integrity and you're concerned that this person uses, like they're too kind, they're too perfect. There has to be something wrong with them. And I don't think that that's the case, okay guys? Let's look at the near future. some of you are taking this offer also in also here guys there's a new job coming up for some of you right now okay there's a new job coming up for some of you um there's also some money coming through at this time with the ace of pentacles okay so um this person does offer you the um the page of cups there is a proposal here and i think that you accept it although you're going to be in your head about it and think that for some it would be stupid it would be a dumb idea okay that's why we have the two of pentacles because we have a two of wands clarifying the two of pentacles it's saying you're back and forth you're back and forth but you make a final decision why is it important two of two of wands is an important card because the two of wands talks about the direction we're going and the action we're actually taking and how it affects the future do you see the the world in his hands right you see the world in his hands and he's looking out over the land so it's as to say you know if i make this decision this is going to affect everything in my life going forward okay so you do have a lot of reservations about it but i do believe that you all just go for it okay you go for it you take the leap you take the leap leap it in. anyway okay let's see all right, why is the Two of Cups the challenge? I keep getting like, this is too good to be true. The Empress and the Wheel of Fortune. So this is a challenge because again, it's like, it's just your luck. Like you would, you almost kind of expect things to maybe go wrong because that's the way it's, that's the way it's been before. You know, there's a concern about that, but I feel like part of your challenge is really like, like, 
accepting that something so wonderful could happen to you, like letting the universe bless you. Part of it could be timing. Some of you could be pregnant too. I'm not going to lie. We have a pregnancy card twice here. For some of you, it may be that your kids are the challenge or a child's father or mother is a challenge that you have, you know, this person is kind of, um, always like a problem when it comes to your kids. Some of you may actually be pregnant from a relationship that maybe you're not involved in anymore. Okay. And let's say you broke up with that person right after you got pregnant. So that's a challenge. I think part of the challenge too, is how do you nurture this when you're so used to having to be guarded and only nurturing you? Cause for some of you, you've been single for such a long time that something happening this good and getting on its feet this fast is a big ass challenge for you okay all right now let me see what you don't see okay you you know the challenging times will get easier for you, okay? But you have to have courage. You have to you you have to know when to hold back and know when to make a strong argument for yourself and push through, okay? So I feel like what you don't see is that like if it feels challenging to, you know, give in a little bit, right? Like let this person lead. You're going to eventually, I'm not saying fold, but you'll learn how to be in balance with that. Okay. Potential outcome. I think you're going to trust yourself intuitively and I, I think, I feel like you will nurture the relationship, okay? You will find yourself wanting to, um, wanting to like give in a little bit, okay? I, I also feel like there's something that's, you have like a lot of psychic energy here too. I need to talk about that for a second. Like, there's multiple psychic gifts coming through here that might be opening up for you really, really quickly. Um, but I also feel like this has to do with the fact that you're kind of, um, I don't want to say giving in, but like I said, being open, being open to being led, being open to being cared for, being open to have somebody take you out of your, um, trauma mode, right? Like uh, your defensiveness and hyper, um, hypersensitivities and, and, and that kind of thing. Okay. So I feel like, Oh, I'm sorry. Is that you, Petonia? I don't know who that was. Okay. I didn't kick the cat, but I felt a cat. Okay. Oh, that might've been my chair anyway. All right. So that's what I have for this. Let me get a couple of cards. We're going to talk about the oracles, okay? Because I have some interesting stuff here. Let's see. Let's wrap this up. We have healthy choices, making healthy choices in love and life, self-love, care, being happier, okay? Love that for you. We have not enough, frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, self-sabotage, fear, ego, issues, jealousy. So I feel like this is some of the stuff you've been dealing with because here you have you dealing with your ego, okay? You have you getting over your fears. You have you um, feeling more confident, okay? That's what you don't see. And then we have separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future. So some of you could could um, be in separation with this person or you're coming you're separated from somebody like I said you have the best thing happening to you at a time when maybe you've been tied to somebody else and you literally have a child with them and it's a problem or you're pregnant okay I ain't, I ain't gonna lie that one a little sticky 
I don't know what you did in that trailer back in 82, but don't do it again. All right. Now, the cards we have out here, we have determination. Consistency is key for you when it comes to achieving your goals right now. Okay, Leo? So be consistent. We have that with the Knight of Pentacles. Keep doing the things that are working for you. Okay, so if you felt like giving up, please don't do that. Don't quit right now. You're already ahead. You're almost at the finish line. We also have charm. So what this is saying is that people find you very attractive and you can use this to your advantage in order to help you to make money or to get further. I mean, let's just call it what it is. Everybody likes pretty things. If I was extra pretty, I would do makeup videos. That's what I would do. But anyway, um, your elegance, your style, something about your style or the way you are um, is, is very attractive or you can use this. Maybe, you know, doing um, things on, uh, what do you call it, like Instagram where you do, you know, different styles or different makeups or things like this, different pictures. Like I can see people like really staring at your photos and stuff like that. So use that beauty and the confidence that you have to your advantage. Then you have composure. So some of you might really be into exercise right now, getting yourself fit, doing yoga. Um, but this card also talks about how your calmness is necessary in whatever you're going through right now. Um, there might be some things that are outside of your control. Just sit back. Okay, sit back. You don't have to do everything all the time. Right now is a time for rejuvenation and renewal and some rest for you, okay? We got the ostrich. Listen, you can't run from your shit, Leo. It's time to face some of it, okay? Don't bury your head in the sand. Don't stick it in a damn garbage can, all right? There's some things in the reality that are happening that maybe you've been refusing to face, so I got to call you out on it, all right? Maybe it's your thinking. Maybe you've had some scary fear-based thinking, and you need to release that right now. Um, you know, you may be just trying to get away from everything and hide, but you can't stick your head in the sand forever. Okay. So don't avoid your stuff. It's time to face some of your things head on. Maybe it's conversations you need to have or th it's literally paperwork, shit that you need to get done in your everyday life. Okay. And we have the telephone. It's, uh, definitely a call coming in from somebody here. Um, again, your throat chakra. I think we had this, this last week too, your inner voice. Okay. Your inner voice is calling you. It is trying to speak to you. Your higher self is trying to get messages through to you, but y'all been putting your head in the sand. So I feel like spirit's been trying to say something, but you like, Oh, you're so silly. <laughs> You're so silly, guides. I'm not listening to you guys. <laughs> right? Don't do that. All right. Checkered flag. That's my new thing. No, don't do that. All right. Checkered flag. There is a completion. There's a verdict coming. There's something that you've been waiting for an outcome. It's coming. So if it's a legal situation, there is going to be a ruling very, very soon on this, maybe even this week. But you're at the finish line, boo. You are at the finish line. Like that other card said, don't give up now. You are almost at your goal, okay? So if you felt like all this shit is culminating. It's coming to a head for a reason because you're in the final chapter of something. You're in the ending of a hard time, okay? The race isn't for the swift. It's for those who endure. Remember I said that, okay? So you're going to feel relief soon. We have a yes or no question. So I want you to put a yes or no question in your mind, okay? We have an answer to a yes or no question. I want you to think about your question for just a minute. All right, if you got it, I'm going to give you the answer. The answer is no, okay? The answer is no, not right now. This situation or event, it's not unfolding right now, okay? So right now, it's a no, whatever it is. And then we've got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a person of fire. So you could be dealing with another fire sign this week who's very strong-willed, has one of them, you know, big ass heads on their shoulders, uh, and 
may have uh may be encouraging you okay they could be strong-willed and difficult to deal with but also they mean very well and they're saying what they're saying or doing what they're doing to encourage you to do some shit to get it done okay this person can definitely be like a catalyst for change too and maybe even they're helping you to build your confidence okay leo I have the four leaf clover, great luck, good fortune, I love this for you guys, so there's some lucky shit happening for you this week, we have the frying pan, trouble accusations, somebody might be talking uh, some shit here about you, okay, I feel like it's a person at work, I feel like, I feel like somebody who's been a friend of me is going to be revealed for many of you this, this week, okay, like somebody in your midst has been saying some things or saying that you've done some things that you haven't done. Okay, how do we handle those people? Baby, we just mm, stuff it. We we let the good Lord handle them. We, we let the good Lord handle them because we shouldn't take it upon ourselves. All right, we have the mountain road. You're on the road to success, and that's why people be talking all that jazz. That's why, because... You're on the road to becoming something that is beautiful, that is bigger, that is better. You're perfecting yourself right now. You're really molding yourself right now, Leo, into what you truly desire to be. And a lot of people get intimidated by that because a lot of people aren't strong enough to take their life by the reins and be like, this is how I want to live it. Okay? This is how I want to live it. All right, my loves? All right. We got the thinking woman. I'm going to read this for you. I like this card. This uh, talks about an ally coming your direction. I, I got this ready. Female of wisdom or understanding. So this card shows a woman holding a book standing before a staircase ready to lead you to higher understanding. This woman could be a friend who helps you express and understand your feelings or she, she could be a teacher brought to your life at this time to take you in a new direction. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. This could be a new love interest with a woman who is thoughtful, conscious, and aware. Okay. For all my friends who bat for that team and all my friends who don't bat for that team. Hey, okay. I said it. I said it already. So this could be a love interest for some of my guys and some of my friends whatever's non-binaries all the things that you guys identify as could be the same gender and whatever okay so um let's see a new love interest with a woman who is thoughtful conscious and aware i love this for you this is the kind of person you want not all romancy pants who's out here romancing every stone he gets across or she gets across okay all right um or, like the thinking man, this card could represent a side of yourself that's ready to blossom and bring clarity and assistance to the world. If so, find your voice and let your wisdom shine. Find your voice and let your wisdom shine. Here's the affirmation. I open my mind and my heart to my own inner wisdom. I am thoughtful, focused, and clear. Thoughtful, focused, and clear. You're clear in everything you say, clear with everything you desire, clear in everything that you want, okay? All right, love that for you guys. All right, you can buy yourself flowers. Write your name in the sand. All right, you got the flowers. Be generous, success, and emotional fulfillment are yours. Listen, everything's looking up right now, okay? I'm liking this for you. So you have emotional fulfillment and success this week. I love this for you guys, okay? And then you have the duality. This is a new deck that I just got. You have the uh, duality card, really pretty images and uh this talks about like spiritual alchemy temperance a paradigm shift so some of you are going through this right now you're going the equilibrium you're rebalancing things um finding equanimity in your life meaning balance you know uh and i just think that it's beautiful and i think that there are some like parallels like parallel people 
happening with you coming into your life at this time people that are paralleling you a lot which is helping you to understand that you're on the right track okay so I feel like many of you are actually feeling like a paradigm shift like things are really kind of shifting for you and it's turning you like I said into this person that maybe you always knew was there but you couldn't figure out how to get there right like a diamond it's really rough when you when you get it after millions of years or all that pressure and and everything it goes through it comes out it's still pretty but it's not brilliant until it's cut and until it's polished so you're really in that stage of you know maybe still going through it but starting to shine so there's this duality and i love this um because it's you really coming into yourself and coming into uh balance okay it's it's you coming into balance so really really beautiful energy i feel like i got one more message oh yeah i do because i forgot these cards let's see what else we got here i know you got two more messages for my leo -ger. Hi, Satch. Yes, I love it. Stability and crafter. Hi, baby. I don't know why, but Etsy has come to me like three times in this reading. I don't know who's doing Etsy. I don't know who's been trying to give up on Etsy, but don't give up on it. There's, I feel like there's a space there for you. Okay, it just, it comes down to like advertising and getting people to your Etsy stuff and like putting it out there okay i feel like you need to do that we have the crafter um there's a talent that you have and the universe is waiting for you to express it right now okay because you might not be using it home projects homemade things jewelries crafts that kind of stuff you might be really good at this this might be you know spirit reminding you use this to make extra money for yourself okay you could be starting up a, a new business at home and making things by hand which i feel like will be successful for you okay when we really tap into the things that we were born with that's where our success is you know what i'm saying we have stability. You will be stable and very prosperous. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you. I feel like thank you. Okay. All right. So um, making stability your top priority in your life is going to give you long-term stability. So be consistent. Again, that's the message of this card is being consistent with choosing stability in everything that you do. It says you may have had a lack of stability, which has had you not be able to get a handle on your life. So now is the time to focus on that and you are going to be very prosperous if you do. Okay, so don't just go, you know, you see pretty things and you go buy it. Like they can't complain if you if you if you're like, I don't have any money. Well, do you really need a four hundred dollar bag? I said it. Yeah, I'm just saying. OK, it doesn't take a genius. All right, my loves. So I think I think I'm good. I think that's what I got for you guys this week, okay? So um, I do appreciate love each and every one of you. Thank you guys for waiting for this video. I know it took a little a little while. Like I said, I was feeling a little yucky for a couple of days there. But we did it, all right? If it resonates, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to come on back and see me by hitting that subscribe button. And I have some more readings coming for you this week. All right, guys, I can't wait. I'll see you soon. Bye, Leo.